Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is David aka Xhatlo. This is the second part of our uh, multi-boxing in World of Warcraft video series. We left off last video we discussed the legality of things and um, the conclusion is clear, is very very uh, positive for multi-boxing. Uh, we can multi-box as long as we're not streamlining and automating. We've also shown um, the classic while planning page, uh, sorry, not page, Excel sheet. And um, we have a couple of options. So I'm going to be discussing the main option that I think is viable and the way I do it. So you can look at this. I'm going to focus on what I'm doing. i um, going to discuss one other option, which is uh, Fuji boxing, Fuji boxing. Uh, so basically we're going to show the first thing. Um, in Windows, there is a feature baked into Windows that's called um, Focus Follow Mouse. So what Focus Follow Mouse does is basically wherever your mouse goes, um, Windows will automatically focus uh, whatever you're hovering. So whatever window you're hovering on, Windows will automatically focus it. Now that option you can turn on in the, in the Ease of Use Access Center, but since Windows has a couple of different uh, control panels and the option itself is the way Microsoft really likes doing it very hidden uh, and it's funny because it's the ease of use center but if you get to the new uh, control panel it's kind of hidden so what you want to do is you want to press a Windows R to run a command and we're basically going to open the old control panel if I can type right so you're going to type in control here this will just open up the old good old control panel and not the newer modern version of whatever here you have ease of access in the ease of access you have just the ease of access center in the ease of access center you're going to go to make the mouse easier to use and in here you have this very very good option for activating a window by hovering over it with the mouse that's basically what we want so if i'm going to activate that right now if I'm going to just leave this, that window gets focused. And that's and that's the trick to it, okay? So, leaving it, focus. I do not press, I do not click. But that basically lets what that basically lets us do is it lets us just use the mouse to swap to our different World of Warcraft clients and immediately focus them. Now, it's kind of like if you've been using Windows with multi-monitors, you know that if you're watching, for example, YouTube on your main monitor and you want to scroll down on a page on your other monitor, you can just take the mouse there and scroll, and it's still going to scroll even without you focusing on that window. That's kind of the same thing, but here it's going to actually focus on that window automatically. So for me, this is the, the feature that made uh, multi-boxing still viable right now. You could do it without anything. You could go ahead and click every window but that would mean uh, or you know some people use alt tab or another some other windows shortcuts to just press and swap but swap uh, focus swap windows to me uh, mouse hover is the best one now the only problem with this one is that it has a delay so if i'm going to enable it right now and i'm going to swap you're going to see that it has about half a second of delay before it actually swaps so here we go we're going to swap and it took time see it's not it's not instant it doesn't disappear instantly it takes a little bit of time now that delay is okay it's manageable a lot of people can do it it just means you have to you cannot just go ahead and go nuts and spam commands everywhere and just move the mouse up and down real fast which is actually what i kind of want to achieve so the way you can achieve that is by actually going to the registry editor and edit the setting for the uh, delay right now it's 500 milliseconds um I find that anywhere between 50 and 100 milliseconds is fine. I use 50 myself. Um, but I'm not going to show that. Why am I not going to show that? Because there's something easier and there's something that I would uh, advise better. So before we go into what I really advise to use, there is uh, the option of Fuji Boxing. So Fuji Boxing has some very nice uh, YouTube videos here. And what, what this person did is he created an auto it script that basically just turns this windows window feature on uh, windows feature on it lets you also launch your windows and it has a profile for different resolutions so as you know multi boxers uh, we like to put uh, the windows in specific uh, layouts for ourselves uh, so for example one big window and all the other windows on the side or at the bottom or 
however you like it but so this script enables you to do that pretty simple however I don't like to have AutoIt installed um, for games just because AutoIt is, can also be used to automate a lot of things based on its name that's basically what it's there for so I personally don't use that option uh, just because it can be misinterpreted so what do I use? I personally use uh, WoW Openbox. Uh, so WoW Openbox is a very nice tool that has been created specifically uh, to be uh, in line with the terms of service, the new uh, rules from Blizzard. It is completely open source. You can literally browse the code on GitHub and you can see what it does, uh, how it works. It's very, very simple uh, and yet very powerful. So I'm going to show why in a second, but basically this is how it looks like. And you see here there's round robin, but I'm going to discuss that. Like I said, I don't approve of the round robin option. And if a software has round robin in it, as far as I'm concerned, it's a no go. But while wow, open box has two versions, so we're going to show you in a second. What you get with this, uh, as soon as you download it, um, you basically download it and you get these files. Now you see there are two executable files in here. There's open box, uh, open multiboxing, and there's open multiboxing RR. So open multiboxing RR is the version with round robin. We're just going to go ahead and flat out delete it. No temptation, just delete it. Um, that leaves us with open box multiboxing, uh, the normal one. As you see, there's a layout, but I'm going to discuss that in a bit. So that's the window. That's the features. It's pretty powerful if you know what you're doing uh, and we're gonna uh, show in a bit so here's that option focus follow mouse incredibly powerful and a nice addition that while wow open box has coded into it is basically if you're on top of a world of warcraft window the focus follow mouse will work as soon as you leave world of warcraft windows the focus follow mouse will turn off and that is very nice so it basically looks at what you're hovering as well now this is a Windows feature, again, uh, you can see what's under your mouse and it uses basically sort of a name thing, you can watch it in the code. Um, so that's really nice, so you're not gonna, you know, it's pretty annoying if you keep focusing Windows just because you hovered over them outside of <laughs> this context. Anyways, what this also has is a very nice um, window layout so you can build your own layout and you can uh, basically like exclude the monitors that you don't want to be participating in it and um yeah it's it's super super easy so this is a layout for zero windows one two three four five you can go all the way up to 32 windows but let's be real we're gonna go with five and uh, we can show uh, like one column of one row all of them stacked up um like there's a lot of stuff you can do here it's pretty powerful uh, you can of course just drag and drop it yourself to create your own layout very nice um, you can put scales you can put whatever you want so scale of half is going to give you a very nice display of your uh, monitor um, yeah so this is very nice this is very useful to edit it if you don't want to do that and you want to have your own thing you can just go to the edit raw settings and you can literally set up your own um, window here so if we go to the window layout manager just again, uh, we're going to do it to scale to 1.8, I think it is, or something like that. 1.6, yeah, okay. Now, I kind of lost it, so let's just do it again. Okay, so I messed it up somehow. Oh well. There we go, the auto button was unclicked. Okay, so if we do that now for five windows and let's say let's say we save and apply okay so you can see these are the five windows that you have right now and that's fine you close the layout editor and as soon as we go to edit raw settings now we're actually going to have that so you can manually edit uh, your layout any way you want it i do that um there's another nice feature here which really really brings it out which is the focus so if you see here, control F1 is this focus, control F2 is this focus. I swap these around a little bit. But basically what this lets you do is uh, say you have, the way I like to do it, say you have a main window, right? 
let's let's just let's pretend we know what we're doing. Let's just go ahead and do like a few layout for three windows, right? Okay, so let's say let's say this is our layout, right? It's not really ideal, but okay. So we have our main window is like it's bigger. It's bigger than the other windows, okay? Now what the focus lets you do is it lets you swap the main window in one click. So if you want to have one of your other team members as the big window right now, <clears throat> you just press the shortcut and it focuses that window as the big one and it swaps. So it focuses, for example, wob one will be the main big one and wob two will go ahead and be small. Super useful, um, very, very nice feature. It also has a launch World of Warcraft uh, batch file included in it, with it. Uh, what this does is very simple. How many do, windows do you want to launch? Where is World of Warcraft? What's the World of Warcraft DXC name? You can have different teams. So for example, you can create your first team, give it some sort of a name, and then second team, give it another name. And what this does is it basically launches that team for you. Now I've, I've created my own batch file, but this is basically what it does. Um, it's very nice. What you do have to remember is if you don't launch your team via Battle.net, you are gonna have to put in your authenticated code every time. And sometimes you're gonna get like version mismatch or servers online. That's because when you're launching it this way, you don't get automatic updates. So you do have to launch Battle.net just occasionally, or just leave Battle.net running in the background so it automatically updates the game and then you can launch it this way. All right, so that's that's how I do it. That's how I use it. Like I said, round robin, I, I think it's bad. I don't use round robin. This is the layout editor, super strong. Um, very nice little software. You can go ahead and watch and see all the code, everything that it does. Um, yeah, it's um, that's it, pretty much. The, the code is, like I said, open source. You can see that it uses pure Windows functions. It doesn't use anything out of the ordinary. Um, yep. So that's about it. There are a lot more options for what you can do. Like I said, this file has a very nice uh, layout options. Um, some people use, for example, two machines with a KVM. Uh, so what they do is like they press the skill, K switch the KVM, press the skill, switch, K press, switch, press, switch. For me, that's a lot more than just doing uh, the mouse hover. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and click that notification button. It helps a lot. I will see you in the next video where I will be discussing uh, add-ons that will help you, uh, macros, and the way I set up my multi-boxing team. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.